Hello, in this problem we are looking for the domain of this function. So the domain is the set of all inputs that we can plug into this function that makes sense. So if it was just ln x, uh, then we know x has to be positive. So here it's ln of this, so we, this whole thing here has to be positive. So step one when you're finding the domain of log functions is to take the entire piece inside the log function and then just set it greater than zero. That's always your first step. So take the entire thing and make it greater than zero. To solve this, we're going to use a graph. We're going to rename this. Watch this. I'm going to let y be equal to negative x squared plus 16. And now the question becomes, when is y greater than zero? Well, x squared by itself, if you were to graph that, that's just like a parabola. Negative x squared is an upside down parabola. And then when you add 16, you basically get an upside down parabola that's been shifted up by 16. So this is the graph of negative x squared plus 16. So what are we looking for? Well, we said we were looking for when y was positive. In other words, when are the y values positive? Well, here. Right, everywhere above the x-axis. So these are the x values for which the y values are positive. What about this point here and this point here? Well, if you kind of just look at this, you say, okay, when is this going to be 0? Well, 4, right? Because 4 squared is 16, and you have a negative here. And the other one will be negative 4. So everywhere here, the graph is positive, And you don't include these because you want it to be greater than zero. Your graph is actually equal to zero at four and negative four. That's actually the answer, so it would be negative four to four. I hope this video has been helpful.